Welcome back to Movie Mojo. Today we are going to review the horror mystery film, Mirrors. If you like our content don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. A man is eluding something as he runs away. The lockers in the locker area are all open when he enters, revealing his reflection. As he gets close to the room's largest mirror, much to his surprise, it starts to fracture. Desperately apologizing to his image in the glass and asking for forgiveness, he then starts furiously cleaning the mirrors. The mirror then starts to break. He picks up the fragment in an effort to atone for his transgression and places it back on the mirror. The man dies, however, feeling the repercussions of having his throat sliced even though he did not do it himself, as his reflection slowly slashes his own throat. Ben Carson, Kiefer Sutherland, a former undercover detective who was fired for shooting another cop, is forced to work night security at a department store that was completely destroyed by fire a while later. The department store was once a mental health facility that tried various treatments for schizophrenia. After a massacre in 1952, the hospital was shut down. Later, the Mayflower, an upscale department store, reopened it. The guard remarks that the person Carson is replacing was preoccupied with cleaning the mirrors, and Carson remarks on how spotless they are throughout the store. However, on his first night, Carson sees a door open in a mirror's image when it is truly closed. Carson's round starts normally. He looks about and discovers nothing. The nights that follow expose Carson to more powerful visions, which he initially dismisses as hallucinations, because of a potent medicine he started taking as a result of his alcoholism. He discovers enigmatic handprints on the mirror. He touches them out of curiosity, breaking the mirror and hurting his hand. Carson also experiences being set on fire while having visions of charred victims in various locations throughout the business. He then discovers Gary Lewis Wallet, the night watchman he is replacing, who dies at the start of the movie. The single piece of data is a note that simply says, Essaker. Then Gary Lewis sends Ben a parcel that was sent a few days prior to his passing. Newspaper articles regarding the fire and other crimes are included in the package. The same man who was found guilty of torching the Mayflower was also found guilty of killing his wife and kids. Carson, who thinks that someone is gazing at him rather than him looking into the mirrors, tells his younger sister, whose apartment he is staying at, about what he sees. His sister, though, is not persuaded. Later, he chooses to visit Gary Lewis' body at the morgue, where his wife works, and she reluctantly allows him to see Gary Lewis and the images of his demise. He observes that the glass shard in the photograph of Gary Lewis' body is not bloody, but is instead bloody in the mirror's reflection. He is persuaded by this to believe that the mirrors are genuinely causing individuals to harm themselves. Ben Carson's sister, Angela, Amy Smart, is getting ready to relax in the bath when her reflection grabs hold of it and starts to slowly take it off, killing her. The following morning, when he arrives at the site to see his sister's body, he tries to shatter the mirrors in the shop, but they are resistant and even recover after being hit by many of his bullets. The word Essaker is inscribed on the mirror as he demands to know what the mirrors desire. After doing some research, Ben comes across the name of Anna Essaker, a patient in the mental hospital. She was said to have perished in the massacre, but Ben learns that she was really transported out two days before it happened. After Angela passes away, he understands that if he does not bring Anna Essaker to his family, the mirrors will eventually murder them. He visits his wife's house and makes an effort to cover or remove every mirror, but his estranged wife Amy, Paula Patton, thinks he is having a breakdown. He makes an attempt to demonstrate to Amy what occurs when he shoots the mirrors, but nothing happens, and she does not believe him. His children are staring at him when he glances out the window of his home. Ben then departs in disappointment and humiliation. When Amy finds her son Michael conversing with his reflection, she begins to doubt Ben. Michael's reflection is still there after she calls him away and is grinning at her. When Ben receives Amy's panicked call, he rushes back home, and the two of them quickly cover the entire house's shiny surfaces. Ben finds Anna Essaker's house shortly after, but she is not there. The home's owner claims that odd things would happen with the mirrors when Anna was residing here, so they made an effort to get her assistance. In order to treat Anna, the doctor locked her up in a room full of mirrors. Anything inside of her left and entered the mirrors. Essaker was then transferred to a convent where mirrors are not allowed. After being located, Anna tells Ben that she was possessed by a demon and was kept in a room full of mirrors while receiving therapy because the doctors thought making her face her own image would help her recover from schizophrenia. The devil she carried was actually pulled from her and imprisoned in the mirrors. Ben urges Anna to return to the department store, but Anna declines, so that the monster will leave his family alone. 
Ben's family is being attacked by the mirrors in the meantime. Michael wipes the paint off all reflective surfaces with a butcher knife and turns on all the taps, soaking the floor with a thin, reflective film of water because he believes the demon in the mirrors is a buddy. Michael's reflection causes Amy to almost drown in the bathtub, but she is able to save herself by removing the drain stopper. A reflection of Amy nearly slices her daughter's throat in the meantime, but the real Amy is able to save her. With a revolver drawn, Ben kidnaps Anna when Amy calls for assistance. When Anna enters the mirror room again, she instructs Ben to fasten her securely before leaving right away. Michael is found having fun in the water by Amy. Michael is stranded on the opposite side, underwater, after being drawn through the water's surface by his own reflection. The mirrors blow up as Anna opens her eyes and is taken over. When Ben goes back to the mirror room, he finds that the demon has superhuman strength and is now creeping up the walls and ceiling. Ben fires at it, but the monster escapes unharmed. Then he strikes it against a busted steam pipe, igniting a nearby gas line. He tries to flee the collapsing structure, but the demon strikes again, forcing him to defend himself. The structure collapses, causing a variety of debris to fall on the demon and kill both it and Ben, according to legend. Amy pries at the water's surface at the family's home in an effort to save her son who is drowning. Amy is able to rescue Michael as he is suddenly let go from the other side of the reflection and perform CPR on him. Ben eventually manages to free himself from the debris and make his way outside the structure. Nobody stops Ben as he departs despite the fact that there are cops, firefighters, and paramedics everywhere in the street carrying a body in a bag. His hand wound from earlier in the movie is on the opposite hand, and the word police on a car is printed backwards, like a mirror, letting him know that something is off. Ben then understands that he was killed under the debris and is now stranded in the mirror universe. He stumbles into a mirror in the town while fleeing the situation, but he is unable to see his reflection. He touches it with his hand. Ben's handprint is then visible on the mirror as the scenario transitions to the real world. After the credits, the camera pans. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.